We've all heard horror stories about predators caught doing the unthinkable. In Ohio, a local mechanic took his lunch break near a park. Although that might seem normal, a nearby woman spotted him partially nude with his pants completely down. When she attempted to record the encounter, he quickly ran back to his job to fabricate an alibi. 2174, 2200, yeah. Is that the mail? That's it. Okay. Put the window up. 2174, go ahead. He was hiding behind this newer telephone pole. Uh -huh. When officers arrived, they met with the victim, who described exactly what the perpetrator did. She stated that he hid behind a pole with his work pants completely down to his ankles. When she called him out, he quickly pulled up his pants, pretending to fix his belt. Um, June 25th, 91. Um, phone number. Four, two, four, six. And your address. Um, one, in here on Ohio. Goes back to Luke Schaefer, valid, negative one. Um, and your kids are over there? They were at the park. They're how many? The how many? Two of them. Two little boys, five and four. Well, what are those? Um, what are their names? Why? Why? Well, thank you. We'll take care of it. So he had a. He was by the newer Behind one. Behind the newer one. And he pointed at you guys, watching you guys. Yes. Okay. And then I noticed, and I grabbed my phone, and he quickly started putting his belt back on. Okay. And then I knew. Okay. For sure, that it would have been confirmed. And you saw it exposed. Yes. Okay. There's two females here. I'm going to talk to them real quick. Hello. You guys see a gentleman causing issues in the park and run this way? Is his name David? No. Luke. Can you point it out, whoever? I didn't see anything going on. Oh. Do you have an idea on you? No, I don't. Uh, um, we're, <laughs> we're investigating some sort of incident that occurred at the park. What's I your name? Here. Okay. What's Luke. your name? I've been inside all day. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we just came out. I'm gonna walk up. What's, uh, what's your social, Luke? Yeah, what is that girl? And she kept staring at me. I was just sitting there on my phone. Yeah. What, is it because I fixed my belt? 2174, 2200 DS. What were you doing over there? No, I just, they were, we came out to the smoke break, so I just walked to the end and I was fixing my belt. Maybe that's why. I fixed my belt. I fixed my, I guess I, I fixed my belt. It came loose, so maybe that's what it, she thought I was doing something. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I just, I just fixed my belt. <laughs> What's your address? My address? Yeah. Uh, okay, just move. So, 80. Send us Okay. Uh, phone number for you? Uh, 419. I didn't even do anything. Well, we're just, that's what we're just trying to figure out. Well, they're claiming that you exposed yourself to that kid. So no, I think they just walked out. A party involved. How far? I walked down to the end. Okay. She walked over to the car with her kid. Okay. I guess he pissed because he did have his pants down. Right. She said, I told you not to do that. So I turned around and walked back up here. Okay. Like I said, I did fix my belt. Why, what was going on with your belt? Oh, it comes loose. Oh, this okay. is a cheap belt, so it comes loose. So I was, just, I just fixed it. That's probably, that probably looks weird, but yeah, it wasn't like I was. Why would I expose myself to little kids? I work here. Well, I we wouldn't just, do that. Yeah, just, so, what were you? Where were you at exactly? Right down at the end of the street. Okay. What were you doing at the street? There, just hanging out. I was out? just staying out, looking at my phone, because okay. they were taking a smoke break. So I just walked down there, walked back, just hanging out. I've been inside all day. This is the first time I've got from outside. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're not trying to accuse you of anything, well, but we're just trying to get... It seems like I am being accused. Well, they're accusing you. Well, I said we're accusing, not accusing you. They should be getting charged with filing a false police report. Okay. <laughs> Where's Brett Bird working? Bring Brett over here. Well, no, he's not working. Uh, but this is working. A, Bring Brett over here. Well, no, he's not working. Uh, this is uh, a, I know Brett. Supervisor, so you can oh. talk to him. How's it going? Good. So were you out by the telephone pole? Yeah, I walked down there. I was just standing there. Yeah, looking okay. at my phone. You said you had your penis exposed. Tyler, no, I went like this because I was fixing my belt. I was tightening it. That's all I did. Boxers there. Did. Did. <laughs> they were, they were okay. sitting right over there the whole time watching. I'm the lead. He's here helping and working for me. I've been out for I had a cigarette. That one I finished while you guys were here. He walked out and walked back in.
So you guys are over here? Seen me when he pulled up because I was crouched right in the shade. Okay. Yeah, I saw you when I pulled up too. Yeah. That's where I was at. This is why I don't come out so that's why I'm standing at the end of the sidewalk. Like around the playground. Not over here. The little sidewalk path around it. Her other son was standing at the edge of that. Okay. And he walked out and he walked right back in. He don't smoke, so he just comes out and goes back in. Okay. I didn't see anything unusual or inappropriate. Well, I mean, if it was facing the other way, you wouldn't have been able to see it, so. Right. Have you ever had a history of this or anything? Have you ever, yeah. I don't, I'm just asking. No, I mean, I don't know. I you. wouldn't do that. I watch people sitting over there smoking weed all day. They don't get in trouble. Nobody called on them. So then you're going to call me, calling me if I'm staying at the end of the street. I'm just, but you understand where our point is with someone claiming that? Yeah, but... That's false. Uh, Man, false I, we don't know that. Well, I'm telling you, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting there watching me the whole time. <laughs> they got nothing better to do. That's the that's the purpose. You work here? Yeah. Great. Right? Yeah. You're gonna continue to work here? Yeah, I'm gonna continue to work here. <clears throat> just I mean if you're not out here like for a smoke break, maybe just stay away from the park for now. Did you get both their names, the people that were out here? I was standing right next to that pool. I, 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 I can, I'm allowed to walk wherever I want. Uh, you're, you're absolutely no, right, sir. Right. Me I can't go anywhere. No, I know he, my he, didn't, he didn't tell you not to go anywhere. He's asking you not. See, you don't have to. It's just, we're just we're just coming up with a solution so there's no more problems or mistaking what you're doing. I've never had a problem. There's people, I come out, I walk down the end every day and I walk back up here. <laughs> I wouldn't. If I was going to do that, I wouldn't do it in my place of work. All right. I understand. I understand. <laughs> what was the other lady's name? <laughs> Bro. All right. You're being personal to us to do, doing our jobs. You understand that? Someone makes a complaint, and we get paid by the taxpayers to investigate that complaint. So you want to attack us for doing our job. That's how you piss off a cop. All right? No, but you're telling us that we get a bad reputation for doing our jobs? Is that what you're saying right now? That's what you said. So stop. So what I'm going to make sure I'm going to do is I'm going to go check every single one of those houses and make sure they have a camera or don't have a camera. And if I find that they do have a camera, I'm going to see if it looks over here. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that they didn't see what you are claiming you didn't do. Okay? Okay. And I'm going to make sure I clear that up. All right? The officers immediately began their investigation. Fortunately for them, there were cameras pointing in that direction. The next day, they went to the suspect's home to notify him that the state attorney would prosecute him for his actions. Good, how are you? Hey, so uh, you were being formally charged for the incident yesterday. Um, public indec indecency is a charge. It's an M4, uh, misdemeanor of 4th degree. It's uh, a step above like traffic citation. <clears throat> um, your court day is going to be uh, Monday, 9 a.m. is Sandusky Municipal Court. Okay? Yeah, where? Sandusky Municipal Court. Okay, sorry, I didn't use it. Um, uh, typically, you'd have to post bond, but because um, it's a um, lesser charge, you just have to sign a piece of paper saying that you go to court for it. You have to go to court and. Well, how can you do that if you have any proof? We have proof. What's the proof? Go to court for it. I have to give a piece of paper for you. Like I said, all this is is just you saying and promising to the court that you'll show up. If you don't, then you have to 
go to jail and pay the bond. Uh, bond. You could just sign the address and the phone number on the bottom there for me. Right here? Yep. <laughs> Gotta do all this? Yes, please. Phone number? Nothing. I'm writing down this. I have to sign this thing. Or they'll take me to jail. I guess. Right. I don't know. It's what is this saying that I'll show up? This is just a recognizance of your uh, charge, pretty much. Instead of going to jail and paying a bond of $1,750, you are saying that you will go to court for it. Right. Okay. That's all I gotta do. Yep. The perpetrator was charged with indecent exposure and sentenced to just 12 months of probation. Let us know in the comments if you think the sentence was sufficient for the crime. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next week.